click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends welcome back to the subject of machine design one we are right now learning about various design procedures considering the fluctuating and reverse loading in last session we have seen numerical based on the infinite life criteria in today's session we are going to look at a numerical at finite life criteria so let us begin with it so students the problem statement is there in front of us it says that a rotating bar of this particular material property is subjected to completely reverse bending stress here the word bending stress is very important this bending stress we are going to consider the bending aspect of course we have been given the endurance limit already so we did not find out the endurance limit separately we need to calculate the fatigue strain for 90,000 cycles of this particular product in service. Now here it is based on SN curve. So most prominently we will have to find out the SN curve and then we will have to proceed. The numericals, this kind of numerical are quite simple. But the only thing is you have to apply your own logic in order to find out this SN curve. Let's move it. Now we know that the corrected value is 315. Somehow the theoretical value we need to find out the theoretical value stand between 0.5 times the ultimate strength and which is 315 of course we know that the ultimate endurance limit value and tension will be given by 0.9 times the value which comes out to be newton per millimeter square 567 newton per millimeter square now let us go for the log to the base 10 of this particular value comes out to be next thing is log to the base 10 of the endurance limit the theoretical of course as we solve this we will get the value somewhere around 2.4983 Ahead of this, we will require log to the base value of the number of cycles, which is 4.952, precisely 9.42. After finding out all, all these values, let us proceed to plot the SN curve. Students, we need to understand that SN curve is made up of the number of cycles and the endurance limit values. Of course, this is a log log paper and that's why we need to consider everything in terms of their logarithmic values. We know that at 10 raised to 3 cycle, we are starting with the first value and 10 raised to 6, we are going to finish with the last value. In between that, we need to find out the required value. So let us substitute and that is plot the values. We know that at 10 raised to 3, the value comes out to be And we know that at 10 raised to 6, that is the maximum cycle, we have the value somehow the 90,000 cycles they fall in this range with a value 4.9542. As we use it as a normal procedure, we will have to draw the line connecting this ahead till this inclined line and from that point whatever value is evaluated that is what our strength is this is what the strength we need to find out let's call it fatigue strength of course you can see that this particular value lies between these two extreme values at 10 raised to 3 and 10 raised to 6 and this particular value lies between this particular values so basically we need to interpolate this value in order to find the value so let me quickly repeat what we have done is we have found out the value at 10 raised to 3 cycles we have found out the value at 10 raised to 6 cycles in between them with the given cycles or number of cycles we have converted them in terms of the logarithmic value 
the value lies somewhere here after plotting the value we come to know that the actual value that we need to find out lies between these two extreme values so that we have to go for the interpolation so from the SN curve let us write down the interpolation function which gives us the desired strength logarithmic value will be given by the maximum value minus the difference between these two values the difference between the maximum cycle and minimum cycle into the difference between the existing cycles which is 4.9542 minus the minimum cycle 3 now after solving evaluating this expression we will get the strength expected somewhere equal to now surprisingly this value actually represents a logarithm to the base 10 of this strength so after taking the anti log function we will get the strength somewhere equal to 386.63 newton per millimeter square so this is what the strength or precisely the fatigue strength which we are considering for this particular product after 90,000 cycles. So in this case what we have done is at extreme points we have found out the logarithmic values and we have plotted the SN curve with the given representation. In the SN curve we came to know that the desired value lies between two extremities so that we actually interpolated the expression and to got the value in terms of the logarithmic. Taking the anti log, we got the final value which is the final strength of the given product. In the next session we will look at a similar example where with the different conditions we will design the given product for the finite life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.